So what happens when you get the best deck, right? You get the best deck. And then you get the best side card ever made in history. And then what happens when you combine the two in an absolute peanut butter jelly combination of greatness that obliterates rock and melts rocks down to the volcano lava where they belong? Pendulum best deck, Mystic Mind best side card. When you combine the two, you get greatness. And this video is going to show you why Mystic Mind is the most crazy side card in the game right now. So if you're ready for the video, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to smash the like button, okay? Let's get 500 likes. Let's get 500 likes. And comment down below right now whether you think Mystic Mind is a great card or whether it's for cowards. I don't think it's for cowards. I think it's an amazing card. So comment down below what you guys think of Mystic Mind. Make sure to get a beautiful Trip Gaming playmat on TripGaming.com because we're almost sold out on Mighty Master playmats. I think there's like four left. So first come, first serve for the last four. Uh, it's definitely my favorite playmat I've ever had in my life. But with that being said, Let's get straight into the video, shall we? Why is Mystic Mind the best side card in history? Stay tuned until the end to find out. Let's go, baby. I'm going to show you guys right now exactly why Mystic Mind is the number one side card in the world right now. And I'm not talking about... Pure Mystic Mind and some garbage Mystic Mind uh, burn deck or some garbage like that. No, no, no. We're talking real Pendulum, best deck in the planet, utilizing card, one card, one, one, Mystic Mind. That's it. Now, as the game once, we're going to fast forward the game one because it's irrelevant. Uh, we end up using uh, Souls here. I'm going to show you guys a super cool play with Souls and Restage. These cards together are just absolutely broken, like an FDK in my eyes. I'm going to activate, I'm going to go into Relinquish Anima to be able to send the Souls to the graveyard. And then activate the effect of Magician Restage. Restage will then special back the Souls. Now I'm going to activate the effect of Souls uh, to send both Reasoning and the Restage. I don't need another card in the field at this point because I already have two monsters. The second you have two monsters, you don't need to trigger Reasoning or Instant Fusion or anything like that because I'd rather just draw another scale at that point, especially a low scale. Uh, but we're going to go Crowley anyway, so it doesn't matter. So what are you going to do? You're going to Ash it. How sad. Look at that. That's like Ashing of Desires. Uh, we, uh, he Ash to draw two. That's fine. Effective restage, draw. At this point, it really doesn't matter. Crowley, you see how good that was? Like, one souls and restage equal draw two. One souls and restage equals draw four. Like, that's insane. One souls and one restage says draw four. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now, what happens after that? We're going to draw another card that draw. Draw, 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 draw. Like, this deck's insane. We're going to be able to summon, even if we didn't draw the mastery, we're going to be able to summon the mighty, we're going to go with Selene, summon the mighty master here, summon the mighty master here, cross shoot, vortex, right hand. Even with the pendulum summoning here, we still have four or five negates. Uh, regardless of what we drew up desire, it didn't matter. But we did draw a servant. He's going to see this, Selene. Uh, you're going to see this big board, uh, plus the restage, which he knows. He's going to go absolute cross shoot if he missed that. That was six negates through the Ash Blossom on a draw two. So that was insane. Now, time for game two, the whole point of the video, Mystic Mine. <laughs> This card is ridiculous. So he's playing Rock. Okay, I didn't know what he was playing. I had no idea. I had no idea what he was playing. In fact, he also has an impermanent Ash Blossom in his hand. And he's going to have Pogue Rock combo here. I'm like, bro. <laughs> sure, dude. I don't care. Like, whatever he has, he's going to get absolutely obliterated here. So uh, my whole game plan is literally just to uh, drop a Mystic Mine and pass for 100 turns. So that's my game plan. In fact, I was even debating signing out Desires. Because, like, about, again, you're playing uh, Mighty Master, so you don't need to. If you, you don't need to have more cards in him. Uh, like, Rock doesn't go through too many cards to do their combo, but uh, it doesn't matter. Because uh, you're eventually going to draw Money Master, and Money Master will pop your own Mystic Mind as well as the opponent's Mystic Mind. So I'm going to show you guys something that's absolutely hilarious. I'm going to wait for his turn to finish, and we're going to go into my turn and show you guys exactly why Mystic Mind's the greatest side card that I could possibly think of. So we're going to keep going here, we're going to let him do his thing. Yeah, 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 it's irrelevant what you're doing. Okay, so he actually played Tornado Dragon. I, if, I don't know which, like, which deck, which... Uh, Tell me which de uh, deck right now, which rock deck plays Tornado Dragon and Draw and Lockbird in the deck. I don't know. This is just some Triff Hate card deck, but it's fine. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So here we are facing an Imperm. On this, he sets a card here and he activated no spell cards. Obviously, this is an Imperm. No shit. He didn't activate this. It could be a Dark Ruler, but I th thought he'd side it out, which he didn't. But he had Ash and Imperm. Okay, so this was five interruptions here. Activate Mastery Ash. I'm like, yo, that's unfortunate. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Activate Mighty Master. He's gonna. I'm like response, response. Um, so we're talking to Chama. Yo, anything, anything, anything. 
like with the emphasis because now he thinks I'm gonna pendulum summon just by activating two scales. Having two scales there is I don't say pen summon, I don't say that. I say anything. Because now he's thinking, okay, he has two scales. If he pendulum summons a jackal, my tornado's useless. Basically, my tornado's useless right now. So I bait him, forcing him into popping the abductor. Next, I'm like, okay, there's one the only thing left is a savage dragon. Activate desires. Negate. All right, Mystic Mind. Pass. Now get ready for a pass of 20 turns for each of us. So one Mystic Mind, he has no out in his deck whatsoever. He decided to go first. He's not expecting me to play. He's expecting an evenly match stuff like that. In fact, post side, a lot of the time you should make uh, you should make uh, the Rock deck go first because you, one Mystic Mind's game. And there's so look how many cards he had to negate. He had to tornado dragon my abductor. He had to negate the master. He had to negate the desires. There's so many cards that must be negated in this deck. There's just so many. So dropping the one mystic mind in a deck that has 10 cards that must be negated is just auto win. And now this is not like normal decks where you drop mystic mind and do nothing after that. The best deck in the world, as I said in the intro, the best deck in the world that utilizes mystic mind is pendulums. So you can do whatever you want. Because the second I get enough, I'm going to destroy him. I'm going to put the servant there. I also realized that he could have an impermanence here, right? But I'm going to wait until the time's right to guarantee an OTK. I'm just going to pass for many. We're passing, passing, passing. Discard, pass, pass, set, pass, set, pass, set, pass. And now I draw a terraform. Like, okay. Now I see guaranteed game. I'm assuming this is an imperm. All right. I don't know what else he has. I know this is an imperm because he set it on turn one with no spells in the grave on turn one. So I'm like, that's, that's an imperm. So Mystic Mind stalled me, what, like 10 turns? So he can't do anything. If I had more cards than him in the deck, I would pass for 20 turns. But I don't need to because the uh, beauty of this deck is I could destroy him right now. Now, if he linked all of his stuff into, let's say, one Link Monster, that would be even better for me because I could trigger my Mighty Master very quickly. And the beautiful thing about Jackal or Cerberus in the, when it's on this field, Mystic Mind doesn't stop cards that aren't activated. So the effect of hold counter is still goes. So I could summon a Jackal or Cerberus with Mystic Mind on the field, even if I have like even if he has even if he has zero monsters and I have ten monsters, uh, and all my cards, all my mythical beasts on the field will still gain counters. Now we have two Jackal and one Cerberus in the deck. So I'm gonna trigger the Servant. Now it's time to destroy him. I'm gonna trigger the Servant. I'm gonna get two counters on the field. I'm gonna summon the Cerberus. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm, in fact, I'm gonna tribute summon the Millennium Magic District for. Uh, I'm gonna take a card first, and then I'm going to tribute summon a Jackal. And now I'm going to activate uh, uh, Into the Void just to ensure I have enough counters on Cerberus and Jackal. Now remember what I said, this might be impermanence. So what do I do? I activated Mighty Master. Now if he, off the bat, just imperms, let's say, a Cerberus off the bat, I'll just activate another Mystic Mind. And I'll win. If he pops it or something, I'll just activate another. Something like I just win. Negate the Jackal. I, have so, like, I just can't lose at this point. So if he negates the Jackal, I still resolve Mighty Master. If he negates a Cerberus, I'll just negate his Tornado or Savage Dragon. So there's nothing you can do, and I have two more spells in my deck. So he thought I told him I was using the right on the phone. I was like, "Yo, activate the right one, activate the right Mighty Master," because we're playing on Discord. And uh, so now you can't do anything. Now I'm gonna trigger the effect of Mighty Master to pop four cards. So the four cards that I pop are the set imperm that I already know. I already know that's imperm, and the three negates or whatever that was. Uh, so now nothing you can do. I'm gonna set the, my own mind to clear my mind. I'm gonna Cerberus banish one card. I'm going to uh, go into Daybreaker here. I'm going to save one Jackal just in case he's playing in Nibiru. And I'm going to Pendulum Summon my entire hand. I'm going to Daybreaker pop that and attack for game. Like, that's so simple. Why? Because of one card. I didn't fret. I'm playing this is in a PPG tournament. Uh, I didn't care at all about what he had. I understand he had five. He had two hand traps. He had like five. He had five interruptions. It, that meant nothing to me. One Mystic Mind. The only side card I drove was one Mind. I didn't draw Dark Ruler. I didn't need to see three Lightning Storms and one Mystic Mind. Just one Mystic Mind. That's it. The same thing goes against uh, against Mermails. They could hand loop five cards. Mystic Mind, you win. Because you stall for ten turns, regain your hand, then activate Mighty Master to clear the entire field plus your own Mystic Mind. So the synergy of Mystic Mind with Pendulums is ridiculous. In fact, it's good for its combo Elich as well. It's good for its everything. So Mystic Mind is my personal number one, in my opinion, the number one side card in the game right now, especially for Pendulums, because no deck could use Mystic Mind as well as Pendulums can. So if you're playing Pendulums, I highly recommend playing Mystic Mind in your deck. I'm going to quickly show you guys the deck profile. Very straightforward. I explain everything in depth why I'm playing it. Restage and Souls are both absolutely broken, and it's not a budget version. I, I, so yeah, if you guys want to see the exact analysis, 
find why I play every single card, why I play this, why I play that. Uh, you can go check out in a previous video that I made. But this deck's absolutely insane and it's my favorite version of Pendulum in a very, very, very long time. In terms of what to side in, what to side out, against Rocks, I'm siding in these eight. From Triple Dark Roller, four Mystic Mind, one Dino Wrestler. These are eight cards that bait out interruptions like crazy that allow you to summon the one Mystic Mind. There's no such thing as too much side because as long as there's one Mystic Mind, you win. Uh, and Dark Ruler, if you like, you know, if you're gonna try too much of these side, that basically means you're trying two Mystic Mind, and you're just gonna Magician Souls these away. And Dino Wrestler is a level seven monster; it's not a brick; it's fine. And the card you take out would be the four Magician Restage cards for going second. One Blue Boy because you get Appaloosa. One Secrets because you get Appaloosa. One Magician Souls because without Restage is not as powerful. That's seven, and then one Instant Fusion. So I would be taking out these eight. So these eight get sided up for these eight only specifically against combo. Now when you're facing other decks, this is a deck of this is a video about Mystic Mind, not a side deck video. I'll explain the other I explain the other side deck again in uh, my Patreon. So if you guys like this video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, uh, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell, and check out the Patreon because I discuss side deck, main deck, actually everything. Make sure to get people trip gaming playing out, tripgaming.com. Hope you guys like the video and we'll see you next video. Peace. Can you